Uh, Warren, just what were your thoughts on uh, the South Carolina game, especially defensively? You guys seem to really turn it up a notch. Uh, my thoughts, uh, I thought we played good. Uh, we had a lot of energy, uh, ran to the ball. We executed very well. Uh, uh, it's just unfortunate that we didn't come up with the, the W at, at the end of the day. But uh, I thought the guys played well. Uh, morale still good. You know, everybody's uh, motivated and has positive uh, attitude towards Marshall. So uh, we got to get after it this week. I asked the coach about this also. It almost feels like a win. It should. Um, you were close, very close. And you get the credit for the touchdown at halftime. You win by four points, I guess. Um, What's the confidence level like overall? Uh, confidence level, nothing's changed. I mean, you know, uh, yeah, we're disappointed that we didn't get the win, but, uh, you know, everybody, like I said, man, positive attitude towards Marshall. Uh, Got to keep it pushing. Can't, you know, hang our heads on last week. It's over with. Got to move on to the next. You guys clearly fed off the home crowd. Uh, how do you battle up that energy if possible and take it on the road and kind of play with that same energy and juice? Um, I mean, for a guy like me, I like that. I like, you know, being in front of a lot of people. It just puts me in a in a in a place where I feel free, you know, to to play the game. Uh, I try to, uh, you know, keep guys motivated. Uh, you know, tell them how it's gonna feel like, you know, uh, and mentally get them ready for the game. I mean, you know, some guys get prepared in different ways. So I just try to, you know, make sure I'm 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 positive around people. So you know, they feed off my energy going into the game. You guys come in at 0-2 right now. Talk about the sense of urgency to try to get a win on the board against a team that may end up being a conference team down the road here. Got to win now. Honestly, man, everybody feels that we got to win. I know everybody putting the pressure on us and everything. We can, we can handle it. You know, we got to get this win ASAP. It seems like after Coach talked about a sense of urgency last week that you guys have really found that. You found that motivation now. Uh, I mean, it's important to us to to get this program changed. I mean, we've been doing everything right. You know, we didn't complete complete flip from when I got here. It's been a 180 with Coach Houston. So I mean, we've been doing the right things. We've been putting in the work. We've been changing a lot of stuff. It's it's time to you know get results from it. Last week you faced a team that was very heavy with the run, and that was their forte. This week, a little more on the passing side. How have you guys changed your prep going into this week? Um, you know, today the first day of practice, Coach Harold got a plan. We're gonna execute during the week. That's that's really simple. Is there any talk between the offense and defense as far as like one side trying to pick the other one up? Like, let's get going. Yeah, I mean, it's it's like it's, it's been like that uh, everywhere I've been. Honestly, uh, it's a part of the game. It's the locker room, teammates, we're brothers. So I mean, you know, uh, if we, if we see somebody down, man, yeah, pick them up. Like, come on, like. I know what I know what these guys in the locker room are capable of, and and I'm I'm proud of these guys, and we got to just keep working. Do you feel like the guys have been able to turn that page this week? You know, you said move on to the next one. Do you feel like the guys have actually put that behind them now and moved on to the next week? I mean, realistically, I mean we we still talk about it, but everybody is looking forward to Marshall game. That's the game that we got to play this week, and uh, we're gonna keep it that way. Coach was kind of talking about you guys shifting to a downhill approach. I felt like it looked like that out there. Were you guys pretty happy with that? Um, I mean, like I said, coach make the game plan. We go out there and execute. I don't, I don't, I don't know much more than that. I mean, do you feel like you guys played faster than the ball? Uh, yeah, I mean, I feel like we always play fast, but uh, I don't know. We just was running to the ball. We executed, had a lot of juice, went out there, had fun. I think that was the most thing. We had fun. And when you have fun, a lot of good things happen. So, what, you know, going off Glenn's question earlier, talking about the offense, like, you know, if you go on social media, Holton is taking, I guess, a beating right now. Do you, you know, say anything to him to pick him up? And is that unfair that the quarterback gets, you know, praise and blame based on all that? Uh, I'm, I'm my brother's keeper. Yeah, I'm gonna keep them guys up. Uh, you know, I really, we really can't listen to people outside the building. What do they really know? I mean. You know, uh, some people might know a lot about ball. Some may know nothing. You know, it's just all critics. Uh, just push that aside, man. We gotta worry about Marshall. Really, Holden's my. You know, Holden's our quarterback, and I'm I'm behind him 100. percent This defense has clearly improved. Um, what do you attribute that to overall a little bit? Anything? Uh, just uh, finally being in the defense for more than six months. You know. Uh, 
everybody is more comfortable with the scheme. Coach Harold's been calling great games, you know, putting us in right situations to make plays. Um, we're having fun, and that's what it comes down to, basically. Last week we talked a lot about the build up to the home crowd in South Carolina and that. This one is kind of building up to a road game. How do you feel about that? And do you enjoy maybe going on the road with opposing fans and that type of thing? I just I love football. <laughs> that kind of away games come with the with the game and so this is another opportunity for me to go out there and, and play ball. And for, for us as a team to go out there and play ball. So uh, we're excited, looking forward to the game. Hopefully we can get a dub. What happened to the Browns on Sunday? Uh, man, I don't want to talk about that. All the guys getting on me for that, but uh, <laughs> so face, face of the league now. That's what I've been telling the guys. So uh, <laughs> go Browns. Awesome. Uh, hold on, I want to put one more thing. Can I add yeah. something? Um, there's a uh, there's a uh, mental health awareness, uh, I guess, organization you want to uh, want to call it. It's called uh, the Silent Injury. This is not a NIL thing or anything. This is me being a friend and, uh, you know, putting it out there. Y'all guys check it out and make sure, uh, you know, y'all look out for the people around y'all, you know. Um, mental health is important, and uh, it's, a, it's a major thing. And part of, um, in this game, there's a lot of people that go through, you know, certain things, you know, you may never know. But uh, just make sure the, the people around you are good. Check up on them all the time, you know. That type of thing. Where do they get that info from? Again, uh, what you is go it? to uh, the silentinjury.com okay. and check it out. Awesome. Appreciate it, Warren. Yeah.